welcome to Neophyte.tv, the technology show for the not-so-geeky. I'm Heather Driscoll. And I'm Ben Friedman. And today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at this cute little guy here, mm -hmm. which is a mobile scanner from our good friends at Plus Tech. This is the Plus Tech Mobile Office AD450. Right. And as you can see, it's... You know, light enough that you could pack that. I'm not sure if you'd want it in your carry-on, but you could certainly pack that in your bag. You certainly could. Anybody that is traveling what do you think? in your car, not bad. It was lighter than I expected. It's yeah. it's sturdy, which you'd want. And you know, there are lighter scanners that you can buy. Yes. But this one has some features that kind of make it similar to a desktop scanner. Right. Yeah, so, this is this is very, very functional, this one. It one's. is very functional. Fun and functional. <laughs> uh, so, uh, as you see, you flip open the top like so, mm -hmm. and you uh, pull out this little thing here. And again, one of those features we talked about that you can't get on some of the cheaper scanners is this will take like up to 20 sheets of paper. So if you've got an expense report, you don't have to sit there and feed each page in. Mm -hmm. You can actually put all 20 in all there, of it. drop them in there, hit the button, and in fact, we'll, let's do a little demo here. It shows you it's a pretty fast scanner. Now it's a duplex It's scanner. very fast. I think. Yeah. Scans both sides in color at the same time. At once. So you can stick your sheet in like so, hit the scan button. And you can do up to 20. Up to 20. I didn't know that that was unusual. So well, it's very not cool. unusual in, in, in fact, it's not unusual in this price range, but on the cheaper ones, they'll only take one sheet at a time. And this is a more expensive scanner. It is. This scanner is like 250 bucks. So it's definitely not a, um, you know, it's not a uh, let's go and have fun this weekend scanner. This is a let's get some work done at the office scanner. Correct. You know, this isn't for scanning, you know, personal items. Well, I don't know. Yeah. You could. Yeah, you, you know, could. This isn't for fun scanning. No. This is for work scanning. Business scanning. Work scanning. So there you go. You saw it went through pretty quick. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's a fairly uh, high quality settings. It'll go through faster if you drop the resolution. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and it's a very clear scan. It is. It's crisp and clear and it comes with like OCR software so if you want to turn your expense report into like a spreadsheet it'll do that for Boom. you. One thing I like about this mm -hmm. is you don't have to take any power bricks with you. Uh, you'll notice it has two wires coming off the back here. One wire is for the USB connection and the other wire is also for the USB connection. So you need two USB cords? Yeah. One of them is for power. So okay. You, yeah. If your laptop, if you have a laptop with only one USB, you need to bring the power yes. adapter. But most laptops have two or three USBs. I think so nowadays. Yeah, yeah nowadays. Um, and one other feature that I liked about this, although I had some difficulty getting it to work, mm -hmm. um, if you ever want to scan a credit card or a driver's license or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. to, to put it in a document, um, this has a special way to do that that gives you like a straight paper path. So I've got my uh, Eddie Bauer friends and family. <laughs> I know we all have one of these. Right. And what you do is there's a slot on the back here and you insert this like so. So this would work for business cards, credit cards. Business cards, credit cards. Driver's license. Anything that, that size, you know. Perfect. You can uh, stick back there, hit the scan mm -hmm. button and boom, it'll, it'll scan it. Now Perfect. I must have something set up, not quite right, because. Uh, it didn't take. Yeah, I'm putting it in here when I hit the button, it's saying hmm. document not found. Right. So we don't know if that's user error or is this, are we having... Well, it's often user error. But, I mean, <laughs> it could we be. had some difficulty setting this I up. I did actually, just when I was setting up the item, so initial setup when I was plugging in and it didn't recognize, and obviously this does not work for a Mac. Oh, that's the other thing. That, as well as being expensive, it's PC only. And I got to tell you, I it feels a bit like you know a very imported product. Like the instruction manual hmm. and such, to me, feels like translated from another language. I agree. And it's, I think that there's some ease of use issues with this product. Kind of, and that's what I felt. And again, I don't want to say it's another user error, meaning yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, but the setup was a bit more difficult than, than I had hoped. And obviously this is for um, out on the road, you know, sales professional, et cetera. And you don't want to run into that yes. problem. You're and with a client. And you know what sales professionals are like. I mean, they're not exactly the most IT conscious Oh, people. you never know. They well, could be. They could yeah. be. But uh, you don't want to arrive at your place of business at the appointment and then have this not work. And I'm not 100% sure that right. I, I mean, would be able to have here, this but it, be but, operational. But it did take some setups and drivers, this, that, and the other. So, and, uh, so yeah, I agree with you. There's some there's some ease of use issues with that. But I think if you have an IT department behind you, like at an office, totally, uh, or, or such, or you have a, a nerd in the family that can help <laughs> set it up. Once it's set up, it seems to work okay. And I did a bunch of scans with it. And I agree. It came out I agree. Well. And the scans are very clear. And it's such a cute little package. It is, and it's um it's a bit more expensive than say you know the Visioneer XP100, but someone did their I research. Wow. But uh, this one has several functions that the others don't. So right. this can scan documents, business cards. 
Indeed. Et cetera. So, um, so on the plus is it's, it's flexible and fast, high quality and portable. It's fairly light. Yeah. Fairly easy light. to pack. Uh, on the negative side, it's pricey and also uh, has some ease of use issues that, uh, you know, everything from the manual to the setup. Could or just some Heather and Ben issues. Heather and Ben Could issues. be either of those. But all in all, I give this like three out of five lattes. Wow. Three out of five lattes. Mm -hmm. That's like 15 bucks worth yeah, of lattes. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Excellent. And we have another segment coming up right after this. So please stay tuned. <laughs> And in the second spotlight today, we're looking at this Battlestar Galactica looking thing. Oh, no. It looks like a big spaceship. And this is the, uh, the Stanley 3-in-1 tripod yes. flashlight. And uh, I... Uh, well, you love this, so I'm just going to let you take I it. I love this flashlight. By the way, I just have to say, I'm, I was looking at uh, Heather's <laughs> notes earlier on this, and one of the notes is battery operated. <laughs> Unlike so many flashlights out there that aren't battery operated, this one. You know, I just didn't want to miss a detail. Operated. I also, didn't want to let you down. gives light, you know. Also, doesn't flash. This one Flashlight does. doesn't flash? What's Weird. up with that? Weird. I have to tell you, I love this flashlight. I never knew you could even care that much about a flashlight but this one is so smart it i'm serious all right this one is so smart um so i'm guessing it does something more than just shine it does something more than just just shine. like you you do something more than just shine. so this can separate actually so obviously it's one nice ah. led flashlight nice. very bright right. pointed at the camera there blind oh my ah. goodness blind very bright <laughs> uh but what's really really neat about this is that you can separate the flashlight into three smaller so I can take my own little flashlight here. That's very cool. So it's a three in one. It's a three in one. So you can take two more out. You can. Oh, you still have two there, and now I have one. And one one button operates however many you have in the in the central. Right. So you can pull one more out of there. Yes. Yeah, pull one more out of there. Yes. You can do three separate. So now you've got. I've got. I can now what juggling flashlights. Ready? Very Everyone? cool. Just kidding. So if you're camping, okay. if you're out and there about, you and you want to have. Um, you want to give them to several people? You like can do that. One of those dance things from uh, Hawaii? For have heaven's you ever sake. Do those things? Yes, I have. Or, you know, what am I? Very good. Okay. Very good. So, I think what's really neat about this flashlight and what's so smart is that it has the tripod on the bottom. So, let's say I've got all three. It's more than just a flashlight. It's got the tripod because, honestly speaking, if yeah, you're in, yeah. please, 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 play with it. You'll love it. If you're in need of a flashlight, most likely you're having a hard time. I mean, so, isn't that true? So You've this dropped. This has like Sputniked itself out into a. Now it's really Battlestar Galactica. Look at that. There you go. Okay. Are people into that? Yeah. So my point is, if you need a flashlight, so now you, you know you can you can tripod it like this. Yeah. And I also noticed these heads. They move. Uh, they move. Exactly. So you can do this. Wow, now we're really in party mode. Exactly. If only, if only it would spin. Then they you've got, got a disco ball. Spin. Yeah. So let's say you're fixing something in your car, it's dark, you dropped your keys down a hole, you can position this right. to point exactly where you need it. Wow. So And you can keep like one light pointing up to illuminate like exactly. the and car hood and then the other one pointing at what you're working So it's so smart. So when you actually would need this, it's ready to go and you don't, it's hands free. Right. I like, uh, uh, I, one of the things was um, if you're walking with it at night, you can point one of these Correct. down at the ground. It is without blinding people. See your path. See, now it looks like a little dog. You just. <laughs> and one of these down at the ground and uh, the other one up or two on your path. So now you're seeing what's down on the ground, you know, so you don't trip over Perfect. a rock or something. And the other ones are lighting up your path ahead. So this will light for about five hours, I really? believe. Yeah. So that's a long walk. And there's obviously a lot of batteries in here. A lot of batteries yeah. in there. Yeah. But uh, you know what's cool is uh, if, you, if, if it's just you, you've got multiple light sources. But if the lights go out in your house, you can give one to your wife, one to your kid, keep one to yourself. Now you've all got a flash. Perfect. One for the car. I mean, it's so light, just the single flashlight itself that you could put it almost now, anywhere. Now, is that lightness a, uh, a, a negative because uh, it's no good as a weapon? 
can't, um, you can't beam anyone is it? Head is it? This. Yeah, this wouldn't be my weapon of choice. This is a lighter flashlight, which is why it appealed to me. So it's, it's not like those mag lights. It's not a mag light, so this is not. You could do some serious damage one of those. So if someone's mugging you at night, you don't want. You this don't want this no. one. This yeah. is not not that flashlight. But as far as just for. Um, Actual use. Now I find that it's found perfect this, uh, for about fifteen bucks, mm -hmm. which is uh, I think pretty good for. I mean, it's versatile. It's Vers fabulous. It's, it's fabulous. Manly, so you know, it's like uh, it's sturdy. Manly won't let you down. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely loved it. Well, Nothing but a, fabulous uh, things to say. That is a huge thumbs up. You know me, I I kind of prefer a simpler flashlight. Do you? I do, um, but I but I gotta admit, you know, this has a lot of. I love that it's multi-directional. I mean, that's the smartest bit for me. I've never seen a flashlight that does that, so genius. I'm not genius. getting this flashlight back, apparently. No. So I'm, that's done. No. You can't right. even win it. This is coming home. Well, <laughs> that <laughs> is, uh, that's all the time we have for today's show. Uh, but uh, go on to our website, www.neo-fight.tv. That's where you can leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about this flashlight. Mm -hmm. Is this too much flashlight for one person, no. perhaps? I don't know. No. You, know, you can it's fabulous. You know, lose yourself in the flashlight. Um, or you can go to the, our Facebook page, facebook.com slash neophyte. And if I can uh, pry this away from here, <gasps> we might give it away on the show. You never know. No. Although I think she'll beam me with it. <laughs> no, it isn't a mag light. Right. Uh, but uh, thank you for watching. Come back and see us again next week. And if you have an extra 30 seconds, take a look at this. If you need to make recordings of your computer screen, there's no better tool than Camtasia from TechSmith. In fact, you're watching a screen recording of this video right now. Camtasia can record your screen, your webcam, and high quality audio at the same time. It's perfect for training, presentations, podcasts, or any time you need to show what's going on on your computer. Camtasia is easy to use, but it's also extremely powerful. You can turn your screen recordings into high-quality polished video in no time and share them with the world. And Camtasia is available for the Mac and PCs. If you need to make screen recordings to educate, train, or sell, there's no better tool than Camtasia from TechSmith.